Uh, okay, so today we will make a tree, hopefully a tree like this one. So let's start in the new layer. So first we will delete the cube. Then we will add a cylinder with around 8 vertices. Uh, it depends on you how many you want. Then you press G, Z to move it up by one unit. And then change it to edit mode. Right. And change to face select mode. Scale everything down by pressing S, Shift, Z. So you scale only in X and Y. So the lock will be around this width. Then select the top face. Go to front perspective view and change to auto graphic. Move it down. Scale it by pressing S. Then press E to extrude. And just play with it. Just to make a simple lock. And just make it smaller every time. So mine will be like this, I think. And then you can add some. You can move it a bit to the left. So make it like a bit fantasy. Tree. Rotate it. Select this loop cut and press double G to move it down. I rotate it. And I think we'll add one more loop cut here by pressing Ctrl R. Select this one, move it up, rotate it a bit. Select this loop cut, move it up, rotate a bit, and move left. Maybe this one, select this one, and move it a bit to the Right, right, sorry. And here we will add two loop cuts. Select this one, rotate, move it to the left. And this one, rotate, move it to the right. Or to the left. Okay, so I think we'll have a lock like this. You can move it to the left more if you want, to the right. So it would be something like this. Just play with it. And this one, move it down. Scale it down. Move it like this. Okay, so now when you have a lock, you can turn to the right perspective. So you can add a uh, rotation to it from the side. Okay, so my lock looks like this, and uh, then we'll change it later. But for now, it looks like this. So then you add a circle with the same amount of vertices, so 8. Or actually you can make it how many you want, it depends on you, if you want the detailed tree or not. So I will give around 10 vertices. So then change to front perspective view and to auto graphic. Move it a bit up, so the tree will start from here, around from here, I think. Yeah, and scale it up with S. Rotate to the left, so it match up with this lock, and go to edit mode, select uh, all edges, and extrude with E, and just extrude like, so it will look match up with the lock, and rotate it. So after that, you have to select the upper uh, ring, upper loop and press shift D to copy it and move it up, scale it, move it a bit down so it will cover the previous pine or tree, I don't know, and press E again to extrude. 
scale it down and again press shift D to copy it, copy the loop, scale it up, rotate it a bit, press E to extrude, scale it down, rotate, shift D again, scale it, rotate, move it down, and press E again. Rotate it, scale it. Maybe, maybe move it, move this circle a bit down. So select it and move it down. Scale it a bit, rotate it. Okay, I think we will add a few more parts of the tree. So select again the upper loop with Shift Alt and uh, right mouse click, Shift D. Scale it move it down and extrude it again okay so I think the tree will look something like this and uh, leave it leave the circle open actually I think we can add one more part of the tree so press shift D move it up move it down to the bottom scale it up and here scale it up Okay. okay, something like this. So it looks something like this. Let's move to the left side view and match it. Make it match with the lock. So this will go left. This is okay. This one is okay too. But okay, we can make it a little bit smaller. This one. Rotate it. Move it here. This one you can also make smaller. Rotate here. Scale it down. This one is okay, but you can scale it down if you want. And this one is okay. Okay, so let's go back to front view. Press Z to see it. Okay, so now we will add a modifier to it. And it's called Solidify. And so this will make our faces like it will solidify it, make it give it some thickness. So I will add around 0 0.85 thickness or 75. 0 0.075. And as you can see, if you want to remove this problem, you have to press even thickness first. And then go to edit mode and press Ctrl C and press C to go to wireframe mode. And you will have to I think you will have to apply it. Or you can go to vertices. No you can. So or you will have to clamp. Clamp it. Okay, so add clamp around 0 0.7 or 0 0.25 so it looks something like this okay so don't apply modifier yet go to first wavefront perspective view and now we'll add some modification to the tree so press control tab to change select mode to vertex mode and let's start with some zigzag of the tree so select this vertice press double G to move it up Go to the next one, press double G, move it up, and every two vertices move it a bit up. The same with the first one, maybe let's start with this one, double G, move up, press double G to move up, and you press double G, you go to vertex slide and you just slide the vertices. Okay, I think this is okay, let's move to the next one, let's start with this vertices, press double G, move up. Double G move up a bit. And the last one. Uh, not the last one, almost the last one. Okay, the last one is this one. Double G move up. 
Ta cũng chỉ một pháp Ta cũng chỉ một pháp Ok, so now we have We add some details to it Maybe now we can We can rip up some vertices to make Like the gap between the leaf So to do that we have to press V Key in vertices mode So this will like rip off Split the vertices into two half So you have a gap like this But uh, before that We have to add some loop cuts To every part of the tree So here add one loop cut Here add one loop cut Here add one loop cut Here And here And here So now If you want to rip off Vertices Move down this With double G Loop cut And here you can start ripping up the faces So the gap will start from here Not from There So select this one Move it to the right Select this one Move it to the left So you have this gap Something like this Then Do the same to All parts of the tree Maybe here I think I will start from here Press V, move it to the right This one, move it to the left Okay, let's move up to this one V Okay, this is okay Oh, we will have to move it, this move up And we can actually rip off the face of this one Move it right, move this one left Press V, move left, move right, and this one move left. You can press this one to make the gap smaller by moving the vertices by pressing double G or T if you want. And maybe add one more. Let's see from the side how it looks. Okay, I think here we'll add one more. V. Make it a bit bigger so it will be noticeable. Uh, and here, last one Don't add too many Because you will overdo it And move it down Okay, I think Here, we have here And maybe one more Let's look from the back How it looks from the back You will have to add one more from the back Or two So it will have at least one gap On every side Move it left Move it right and add here, maybe Move it left And let's see from... Okay, this is from the front perspective But let's see One, two, three From back, one, two From the right, and from the left Okay, I think it's okay So now let's move to top view And rotate some parts of the tree So go to edit mode and press L to select loose parts, so this one is loose parts and maybe you can rotate it to give it some randomness a bit deselect with A, select for example this one rotate it, select this one with L rotate it a bit, ok and select maybe this one and now go to wireframe mode and rotate it with R ok so now we have, we almost finished we have this kind of tree, and now by selecting the previous loop cuts we made, you can scale it down to add some more bends, and it looks nicer. Select this one, scale it, Ctrl Alt and right button click to select all loop cuts, double G to move it down a bit. Sometimes you have to manually do it So select all Move it Scale it down Move it down a bit And to this one I think we'll add We will add two, One more loop cut to it So it will be pointy So maybe make it a bit taller And add one loop cut here Scale it down Okay Select this, scale it down 
so it looks like something like this for now and now you can to make it more tri triangles select tree go to edit mode and press double A to select all press ctrl F to go to faces uh, menu and press triangulate faces so now you all your faces are tri triangulate and now select some vertices and maybe move it move them down or up so you can see triangles so for example it looks something like this it still looks like what but if you press this vertex press double G move it for example down now you add some more details to it so do it with every vertices every two vertices I think let's see this one move it up this one move down move it down move it down and this one move it down this one is move move this one up this move down move it up and let's see here move it down move it up move it this is already down this move down maybe move it down a bit okay so let's see it looks nice and here let's move it down here move it down here down up down 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 and here I think I will move it up move it up let's see or not I will move it down not up so select this one you just have to play with it and see what fits you the most and here move it this up now it looks bad okay so leave it like this so I think and now after all of this you can add you can apply your modifier if you want and the same with the lock so let's move to the lock press shift H to uh, hide everything apart from this lock uh, select all press ctrl F to go to face mode and press triangulate faces and now move some vertices left or right to make the bottom bigger and the top smaller you can also add some zigzag like to the tree maybe add one loop cut or move, it, move this one down So you can subdivide the edge so you have one more vertices in the middle and now you can move it as you want. Okay, so I, I will leave like everything like this. Just move some vertices again. One up, one down. And same with the others okay so now bring back the tree with alt h and i think 
maybe scale down the lock. So select it and press S, Shift C to scale it in every axis, but not on Z axis. So actually, you have to change it in a different way. You have to select this loop and scale it down. Yeah, like this. Go to wireframe mode. Select this loop cut. And scale it down again. Select the bottom. Scale it down. Okay, I think that's uh, actually it looks okay. Select this one. Scale it. Scale it down. Scale it down. I'm just selecting with the C. Circle select. Okay, move it to here. Okay, so the lock is not beautiful, but I think the tree is okay. So, I think it's the end of the tutorial. Or actually, you can press, you can do one more thing, you can bend the lock one more time. But this time you can't add the loop cut, so you'll have to press K for knife. So you can cut the mesh in half, press C to cut through. And now it will add, press enter to apply the cut, and now you'll have a uh, loop cut. But what happened? Wait again. We have to cut through. K, C to cut through. Cut it through. Press enter. Okay, now it's alright. And go to edit mode. We are in edit mode. Oh, we have to deselect this one. Move it to the right. Double G to move it down a bit. Okay, so lock is bent like the tree. Okay, so I think this is the end of the tutorial. Thank you. And subscribe for more tutorials.